actually work when I know that I'm working in a system that was not built for me to succeed and actually live a satisfying life, you know? Just knowing that I'm living in a system where I have to work a nine to five job so that some like racist, greedy people can can eat good with their families, meanwhile oppress everyone else. Like just knowing that I'm living in a system like this makes me lose motivation to even work. Like, I honestly don't want to work anymore. Just knowing how capitalism was even invented in America makes me not want to work anymore. It feels like I'm literally doing this all for nothing. And bro, it's becoming so obvious. Like, slavery is has not ended. Slavery is still around, bro. These nine to five jobs are literally slavery. And that's why they're trying to make homelessness, or well, not trying to, but that's why they're making homelessness illegal. So basically, if you don't comply and do what they say and work, they're just gonna take you away and lock you in a cage. And I'm not gonna lie, what makes it even more crazier living in this country is the fact that we, the people that are being oppressed in this country, literally hold all the power to make everything change in this country. Like, we could literally come together and end all this, but too many people working paycheck to paycheck. Too many people are too many people living paycheck to paycheck. Too many people still sleep in the system. Too many people still thinking that money is what's gonna create happiness and what's gonna satisfy them, but it's, it's clearly not. Like, look where their money has gotten us absolutely nowhere. We're, we're still slaves to this day. Our ancestors literally went through what we are literally going through today, just in a different way. Slavery has not gone anywhere. And just knowing like the people at the top is literally completely against us and humanity and nature is even more crazier. I'm not gonna lie, like I might get my, my home while I live outside the country or something and like travel back and forth from America to wherever I wherever I live because li America is honestly just not it. And I feel like it's gonna get worse and worse over time. And not to mention the all the education that I learned when I was in middle school, high school, it was all a lie. Like the education in America is literally a lie. And to prove that it's a lie, the families that created American education literally said that they want a nation full of workers, not thinkers. So why would they choose to actually educate us? This is how you know education in America is not education, bro. It's making you another worker in America. That's all it's doing. The people who created it even told you this. They live good off of oppressing and miseducating us and feeding us lies and not telling us who we truly are. Especially yeah, that's fine. Okay, okay. Sorry about America. the record. He's been trying to get out. Because we're like so brainwashed. Yeah, if he's sick, he shouldn't but even be at work for real. Yeah, like, yeah. Okay. We don't all need it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you for being patient. I appreciate mm. that. But just, right. knowing, just right. knowing that I've literally been fed a bunch of lies when I was in school, when I was going through my childhood. Shalom. Uh, first thing and foremost, we want to give all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. Um, I'm going to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and rule well. Blessings and salutation to the hopeful elect. Noise in this gospel abroad, lifting up the standard of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Uh, Salakia, uh, we try to do 10 things at once. But what you saw here is a video of this Jake, uh, this young Jake, uh, appears to be fed up with the system. 
um, he's come to the conclusion that this system is nothing but slavery and it's dumb. Okay, and uh, honestly speaking, myself and the brothers in this thing have come to that conclusion <laughs> over a decade ago uh, that this system is nothing but fraudulent. Okay, it runs you amiss. Okay, it puts you in the most deplorable situations. And it's like so funny though. It's like the homeless motherfuckers, even though you know they don't have a shelter or a roof over their head, they have less worry than the person that's actually working. Because what I realize, like the people that's actually working, is the one that's taking on all the debt. So it's like the more you work, the more broke you be, it seems, because you're constantly paying bills, you're paying taxes, or you're paying on a deficit uh, uh, of a society that they basically say in the form of taxes, because the reason why your taxes are going up outside of just making the elite bankers as rich, okay, beyond measure, but it's because you're paying on a deficit of this place. So this is why a lot of Jakes end up in tax trouble. Okay, I was looking at a video yesterday that one of the elders put out and basically it broke down on how the IRS are 10 times more than likely to audit Jake workers and Edomite workers for tax crimes. But wait a minute, man. Even though you got everybody that cheats on their taxes for the most part, but they audit Jake because they know that they can squeeze every nickel and dime out of Jake. But yet they give these big corporations tax breaks. You know, they give the rich tax breaks you know, the super rich tax breaks And then you got the super, super, super rich That don't pay no taxes, man Okay, like you'd be a goddamn fool If you believe that Biden or any of these motherfuckers Really pay taxes, man Okay, Trump even admitted it He said, well, yeah, I admit I take advantage of the taxes Because everybody else do it You know, shit, I write my shit off I ain't gotta pay that shit But yeah, you a Jake You getting fucking letters from the IRS Saying that you owe this amount of money And I'm like wait a minute I filed this I didn't owe it three years ago Like they sent me some shit last year Saying I owe 300 bucks from fucking 2018 I'm like what nigga it's 2023 Fuck you sent me this shit five years now Later So I owe But no it ain't that It's the fact that they up in taxes man You know and they want to go back and penalize you For shit that you you know And already paid And that's why hey he's coming to the conclusion Like look man fuck this shit And this is why me personally I don't take my job serious I don't take it serious For what? Because I know that it's all oppression I know that it's all a miss And they're gonna run a smut You know I know this already I know that you know So with that being said It's just like alright the hell with this place When it falls it's gonna fall And when it collapses it's gonna collapse man And it's collapsing down as we speak You know So yeah man hey he said it. He said the people got the power to do something about it, but they won't do anything about it. Why? Because they live in paycheck to paycheck. They're afraid and they're too invested in this kingdom. Okay, they're too invested in this society. So therefore, you know, they got to continue to act like they're going to play the system. Well, not play the system, but work for the system. You know, me personally, I'm tired of this shit. I'm ready for it all to end. You know, tired of faking like I want to be around you people because you people ain't nothing but a bunch of demons anyway. All right. So anyway, uh. I got a couple of precepts, not too long. This is the book of Ecclesiastes 1 and 14. It says, And I've seen all the works that are done under the sun, and behold, all this vanity and vexation of spirit. It said, That which is crooked cannot be made straight, and that which is wanting cannot be numbered. But I've communed with my own heart, saying, Lo, I am come to great estate, and have got a more wisdom than all they have been before me in Jerusalem. Now, this is the words of Solomon. But yea, my heart had great experience of wisdom and knowledge. And I gave my heart to know wisdom and to perceive madness and folly. Okay, because this is folly, man. You people wake up, rush, get your nine to five jobs just so they could take 40% from you. You only get 30% back at the end of the year. And that's not talking about if you owe, you go child support, you owe past taxes or any type of debt. They're going to take that shit, man. But yet you got to work nine to five, rent keep going up, food is expensive, landlords are getting more petty. You know, the jobs are cracking down more on people trying to keep them engaged. It's just like, when you people going to rise up to this shit? You know, you people are dumb as hell. But it says, I perceive that this is also a vexation of spirit. Okay? For much as wisdom is grief, and, and he that increases knowledge increases sorrow. So, the more you come into the knowledge and wisdom and understanding to know what's going on around you, the more vexed and pissed off you become. Okay? Because me personally, hey, I know this is a fraud. I know this is shambles. You know, and I know that it's all it's almost up because in my last video, I made mention that at the meeting we had the leadership didn't sound too confident, you know, because, you know, working in that particular field, 
hey, people are not trusting them anymore, you know, and shit, hey, eventually people going to rise up against the system, you know, this is the book of Job 20, and I'm going to start at verses um, 22, it says, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he should be in straits, and this is going into his new world order, every hand of the wicked should come upon him, now when you go into the word lick, wicked, it goes into laborers, okay, uh, it goes into the Hebrew word, Amalah, which means laborer, sufferer, okay, workman, because people who have pretty much been duped into accepting this kingdom and to, to work at nine to fives and paying all these taxes just to not get this shit at the end of the year. And people put all this money in 401k just for them to take it. And you're overpaying the social security just so they can send the money over to, you know, to the, to the small hats and then, you know, money to Ukraine and then funding the, the, the migrants over here. People are like, you know what? Fuck this shit. And when people get their hands on this devil, this is why the whole world is rising up against this devil, man. Okay, because they realizing like, look, man, this man is he ain't right. You know, he's he's pushing people to the to the to the limit of their sanity, and yet he's expecting them to come and have all this good work morale. But when you look at the co-workers, these people don't want to be in no fucking job, man. But they're only doing it because they've been tricked and believed that this is what they're supposed to do. But if they knew better and they knew that there wasn't any future in this place. People say, you know what? We're going to do the fuck we want to do. Me personally, I'm not invested in it, you know, and everybody knows that. But I do what I got to do to, to, you know, get by and, you know, I do my job, you know, and it's satisfactory. But me personally, I'm not going above and beyond to appease a bunch of people that ain't going to make it any goddamn way. You know what I'm saying? And that's just me. But it says when he is about to fill his belly, Yahweh should cast his fury upon the wrath upon him and should rain it upon him while he's eating. So when he's get ready to implement this new world order that's when you how about you how shah is going to pretty much snatch it from under his feet okay james 5 and 1 it says go to now ye rich men weep and howl for your misery should come upon you now this is a direct call out to you elites okay you elites of the society you nobles you so-called nobles it says your gold and silver is cankered and the rest of them should be it says your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth eating meaning that they're corruptible your gold and silver is cankered because it's not real and the rest of them that should be a witness against you and shall eat your flesh as it will fire because you have heaped treasure together uh, for the last days. Meaning that uh, people are going to start coming to these government buildings. People are going to start turning on their supervisors. People are going to start targeting IRS agents because allegedly the IRS hired like 80 something thousand people to go around armed and to pretty much shake people down for money. And that's not going to end well for a lot of you IRS agents out there that think you're going to play Gestapo against a bunch of fed up people. Okay, you're going to have a first ticket back to the spirit world because Esau ain't going to play with you. You knock on this door talking about he owed from 2015, he going to give you lead, man. And you know what? At this point, you fuckers deserve it. All right, because you've done nothing but oppress our people. All right, and I'm talking about our people, our dumbass people. And the men in the Lord, we're very oppressed working these dead end jobs and so called careers. Just to fucking get shitted on in the end. No, thank you. You can have it. You know, the only person that's invested in this is you fucking black women. And you're going to find out real soon that you've been played. All right. But it says here, behold, the hires of the laborers who have reaped down your fields, which is of you kept back by fraud. This is a fraudulent based system. OK, the scriptures say he uh, framing mischief through a law. OK, and what are them that trust in uncertain riches? This dollar is very uncertain because it's a fiat currency. It says, cry it in the cries of them which have reaped or entered into the ears of the lords of Sabaoth, which means the lords of the army. It says, you lived in pleasure on the earth and been one time means undisciplined. You have nourished your hearts as in a day of slaughter. You've condemned and killed the just and he does not resist you, man. Okay, because you got jakes that will retire and then a year later, after working 72 years of their life, they got a nice fat pension and yet they can't spend it because they drop dead a month later. Okay, there's been several stories of men dying after they retired because they worked their bodies into the ground. And Esau knows this. Well, let's up the retirement rate to 68, you know, that way. You know, he may retire with $225,000 pension, but he's going to give most of it back, you know. He doesn't have access to his children. He's not married. So all that money goes back into the state or the government, man. All right, but it says here, be patient, brethren, until the coming of Yahweh shot. Behold, the husbandman waited for the precious fruit of the earth. And have long patience for it until he received the early and latter rain. So be ye also patient. Establish your hearts 
for the coming of the Lord draw nigh. So, brothers, we ain't got to deal with this oppressive ass shit too much longer, man. Okay, the Lord is getting ready to deliver us, man. And we ain't got to think about a fucking Edomite, a nine to five job, a nigga woman, a nigga. Okay, no fucking IRS tax return, no child support bill, no bitter ass baby mamas, man, no adulterous hoes, no grimy ass jakes, man. We ain't got to worry about that shit once this place collapses, man. Okay, we're going to be free, literally, sovereigns. And we don't know what that feel like because we've been in hell for so goddamn long. The last precept, surely oppression maketh the wise man mad and a gift destroyed the heart. My man said in the video, he said, I don't even have the motivation to even go to work and do anything because I know it's all bullshit. Well, hey, you and me both, brother. But, hey, with that, Lord's will, you were edified until the next lesson. Shalom.